well in the previous video I gave you an introduction and the basic functions of AIS and how to use the AIS well in this video I will explain to you guys a little further that uh, how you can send or receive a message or you can transmit a message uh, using AIS and what type of tests you need more uh, that you can perform on board or that you need to be performed on board so first of all for I will go for message for message you have to go to the menu option there you can see its message there you can enter here if you like to create message you can create your message first of all you have to set the message type first of all you set your message type broadcast and type is safety if you like to change you can change you change it to normal after that once you set that you have to set the message that is whatever you like to write like I like to write here okay first of all I will write it here whatever I like to write here you can write alphabetically like a b b c once you write it you can press enter now you have to go to the send message now when you send message it will ask you sure you can keep it yes so that's how you can set the message now if you like to check your transmission log that what message you have transmitted or you can see a receiving log that what type of message you have received you can go in any of these well you can transmit message to someone if you have some safety uh, safety message or you have some uh, warning to uh, warning about someone so you can send the nearby ships will be able to see that message on their AIS so now next I will go to the test so first of all mostly in uh, other type of AIS other uh, models of AIS it can be some other word like test or something but here it's diagnostics whenever you go when you will go to diagnostics you will click you will see there is monitor test you have to enter the monitor test and then you have to stay for some time now it will be performing monitor test that if there is some problem it will just so it is everything is okay it is going on test is under process you can see that so now almost the test is completed now you have to go if you like to go back you have to push menu key three times but it's already late so it's performing the test again so next time you have to little quick when the test is finished you can see that so everything is okay in monitor test okay now I will go to the transponder test in transponder test there are two type of tests there is one memory test and one first I will go to the memory test it will tell you about RAM, ROM and sub RAM that these are working ok and program number and whatever the memory test is ok so once at this point you go to the GPS test so now it is give you program number this and test is ok it means that your AIS is now working ok and very fine there is no problem in your AIS so you can push back the menu and put the display button it will show your targets again that's all for the AIS